All right, guys. Good morning. Uh, this here's Angel HVC Bolt headed to our first call. Angel here and Isaiah, my apprentice, my HVC apprentice. Uh, we're en route to our first call this morning. Um, in fact, let me check in. Office Angel, uh, be en route to Yale. Do we know what the issue is out there? Angel, complaining of the AC not turning off. Complaining that the AC is not turning off. Usually the complaint's not turning on, but this one's not turning off. So already in my head, I'm already thinking my brain's already going into work. I'm thinking, huh, do we have a bad thermostat? Uh, do we got a welded? We have a welded uh, contactor that's, uh, that's uh, causing the unit to run. You know, I doubt that's pretty warm down here. Uh, it's starting to be warm, so I don't think they've been running the heater. So I don't think I got a high limit or anything that's uh, tripped and it's been causing the blower to run. Um, that's assuming that they haven't been running their heater. I don't see why they would. It's uh, pretty warm. So uh, we're not too far from there uh, where we're headed. So uh, stay tuned. All right, guys, uh, we've already cleaned out. We've already cleaned out. Uh, I went ahead and showed them a little preventive mates on these Goodmans. You know, they get a, a dirty flame sensor. It'll give us an air coat of uh, failure to ignite. The only problem was uh, the customer um, customer had shut the breaker off, so it kind of reset everything. So we cleaned the flame sensor. Uh, we checked the EVAP. EVAP coil is clean. Um, now I'm having him check the uh, the evaporate. No, I'm sorry, the capacitor. He's going to check the capacitor to the blower. It's a 10 microfarad. So he's gonna check that, and uh, we'll get back to you. What is it? 8.78. 8. 8.78. 8. Okay, so the, the that cap has got a tolerance of uh, plus or minus 6%, so that's below tolerance. Uh, eight microfarads, I don't necessarily think that was what caused it, that their blower's not coming on. I don't think that's the issue, but however, it is below tolerance. So we are gonna change that. Go get a 10 microfarad capacitor so we can wire it back in. All right, guys, this is a wrap. Uh, we changed out the uh, capacitor to the blower. I did an amp draw. Amp draw is uh, within range, way within range. They're already using uh, medium speed for the heat. Uh, we went ahead and also serviced our, uh, our flame rod clean that out um so we're just gonna go inside and put a new air filter on and call this one good hey guys uh we just got done with our first call this morning um uh, this is george on 10 7 here on normal 10 7 on normal george. customer was complaining that the uh he ran the heater uh and the unit kept running the blower kept running, uh, wouldn't shut off, so you shut the breaker off. Turn the breaker back on, turn the heater on. Uh, the only thing we found, uh, found the filter a little dirty, but not too bad. Um, found a low cap on the blower. Um, Clint cleaned the, I know on these Goodmans, they have a real problem with uh, a dirty flame rod. Um, clean that out. Check the evaporator, evaporator's clean, not restricted. So what we ended up doing is we put a new cap, uh, changed out the air filter, uh, ran the unit, uh, did an app draw on the blower. Uh, everything's within range. Uh, so I'm gonna call this one good, good to go. And let's check in, see what else they got for us this morning. Office Coffee, this is Angel, gonna be 10-8 Yale, 10-8 Yale. 10-4 Angel. Where am I headed? What side of town? I have a call for you. Copy that. I'll be in route. Can you go ahead and please send it to my phone? Uh, we're out here uh, servicing a unit. Out here with the apprentice, Isaiah. He's already checked the refrigerant levels. Uh, refrigerant levels uh, look good. Uh, he's checked the capacitor. Uh, everything's within range. He's got a 22 degree split. Um, on the unit, 
I'm sorry, not 22, but a 20 degree split. Uh, so everything's doing good. All he's gonna do now, he's down there getting a, a hose so we can uh, wash out these uh, condenser coils. So everything's checking out on this unit. This is a uh, two and a half ton, two and a half ton pain unit, which is pretty much a two and a half ton ICP unit. This is a very common unit that we see around here. But everything, everything uh, looking pretty good. So we're gonna service all this out, get all this cleaned up in here, clean the coils. As soon as he comes back here, I'll give you guys a glimpse of him doing all that. I don't know why, I don't know if it's kind of weird, but that's so satisfying to me when I see all that dirt come out of the coil. Am I the only weird one like that? figure something out with your hair man Gro growing hey growing up in the 90s it was a spanish band that my mom would listen to it was called uh los bookies you remind me of one of the guitar players 